Mm, yo, what is up, guys? It is Nick. This is Bad Cave Gaming. I decided to spoil you guys the video. It's been a while, you know. I've been pretty inactive, um, and that's just because I'm lazy. But you'll see some videos here and there from me. This time, you guys are spoiled with some Last of Us gameplay, which I can definitely say is one of my favorite games right now. One of the best games I've played. And this is just a multiplayer gameplay. And I kind of wanted to just do a quick video on it just because I liked it that much. So hopefully some of my subscribers will see it. And if they haven't picked it up yet, you know, maybe they'll, they'll stop by Best Buy. They'll stop by GameStop and pick up the game. You know, even Walmart, Target, I don't know. And pick up the game and, you know, have some fun. So this video is kind of be a little bit of a tip video on what I've learned from playing The Last of Us. And this is just the multiplayer. Um, and I wish someone kind of gave me some tips on this because I was going into it blind. Um, I had only played like two or three chapters of the single player and I was like, you know what, let me try the multiplayer just so I can see what it's about. And the multiplayer is so fun that what I hate about it is that I haven't played the single player which is the best part of this game you know is the campaign mode of it but <clears throat> you know I'll get to it soon so here's just a little quick rundown of some tips that I have learned watch me kill this guy bang he's dead um, but here's just some quick tips of what I've learned from playing the last of us so there's two game modes in this game this first one that you're seeing me play or this is the only one I'm gonna show you today um, this is like team deathmatch. So each team gets 20 lives, and when you run out of your 20 lives, the game's over. So that's pretty much how it works. And, you know, the only downfall with this is that if you have someone on your team who likes to die a bunch because they think they're playing Call of Duty and die 10 times, your team is most likely not going to win. And I, I don't even know the name of the game mode, I just know how it works. Um, the other game mode, as you see me get downed, this is what happens when you get shot too much. You go down, kind of like last hand in Call of Duty. Um, <clears throat> but the other game mode is like Search and Destroy. So, you know, it's four on four, one life per round, last man standing kind of deal. And if, you know, if someone's hiding, it's based off of who has the most health wins. <clears throat> but it's pretty cool. Um, the best part of this game, to me, is that it's team oriented so if you are not playing as a team you're definitely gonna lose I find myself when I first started I, I found myself when I first started playing this you know I would go ramble I would try and one on two people or even one on three people and it doesn't work because how this game works that say if you even do one on two and you actually kill somebody to put that guy down you either have to do an execution or shoot him another time by the time you do all this work and all that jazz his teammates will see you on the map or the teammate next to him will pretty much kill you so definitely you want to stay in packs on this game 100 percent as you can see uh this is like a three on three battle i'm with my team their team is together and that's the best way to play this game if you want to win um one thing and this is going to seem like the stupid tip it's L2 to run on here. You hold L2 to run. It's not like most shooter games where you hold down L3. Nope, you hold down L2. And watch me kill this guy. Bang, bang. And then see, that's the problem. When you go one on two, if you try and execute them, you'll get picked off and killed. And, you know, I still do it because I just want to kill that guy. Um, but it's whatever. Another tip is when you play this game, stay with the pre-made classes until you actually get to a high level because this game takes a while to level up and this is a red box you pick these parts up i'll go into that later um but <clears throat> their pre-made classes are so much better than what the class you can customize is so stick with the pre-made classes that's the best way this game is i think it's kind of like called a moba uh, like the PC games, like League of Legends. I haven't played it, but I know the concept is kind of similar where you start out 
with like the basics but as you go along you gain uh, gear to upgrade your you, you gain things that upgrade your gear so like that red box that you saw it'll drop parts or grenades or health packets and that's how you um, continuously stay alive because this is the last of us so it's not like you're starting out with 90 bullets in a clip and you can just go shooting in like Rambo a lot of times you start out with like seven bullets and that's all you get so if you run out you better pick up gear like this on the table right here that I pick up you have to pick up gear like that so you can buy more ammo in the game buy armor in the game buy health packs and this is what I have right here a health pack because I'm about to die <clears throat> so you can use a health pack to actually heal yourself um, there's a lot of tips in this game that I can give you guys but this is gonna be kind of a short video <coughs> so maybe if you guys actually enjoy this video you know I haven't been posting a lot so I don't know how many of you guys are gonna see it but I'll probably do some more you know tips that I found because the multiplayer in this is incredible to me just like the single player um, and before this video is over I just want to tell you guys one last thing there's a mode called like stealth mode you hold R2 you can see through walls and it helps you surprise tag um, the enemies so that's one thing you want to know as well it'll help you be stealthy anyway guys as you can see we came back and raped these guys we won that's some last of us gameplay hopefully you guys enjoyed enjoyed it as you see your parts you gain supplies and it, it's just really weird there's a lot to say about this game I will go into it more later if you guys are actually interested anyway guys it's Sneak this is Bad Kid Gaming and I'm outie